Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Olivia and I'm a gender affirming voice teacher. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create the most perfect practice regimen for you. Now for vocal feminization, practice is really everything. Practice is all we've got. Practice is the only way to continue to take steps toward your goal voice. The creating space and time in your life for practice should, should really be a priority for you. Because practice is so important, it can really make all the difference in your, your process. I wanted to talk about a few things that can help you to create the perfect practice regimen for you. So let's get started. Number one is consistency. It's important to set up a practice regimen that is, is something that you can actually stick to. So that's gonna be different for every person. So whether that's two minutes or 15 minutes and whether that's in the car or whether it's in your, your bed before you go to sleep at night, it doesn't matter when or where or what exactly you're doing, but building that habit and building that routine is really important as you get started. So figure out what works for you. It could be um, 10, 10 minutes at the exact same time every day. Maybe at 4 p.m. you're done with work and you do 10 minutes of practice. Or maybe your, your schedule's a little crazy, so it's a little different every day. Maybe you put it in your calendar the night before. When can I get in five, 10 minutes of practice? Okay, here it is at 12.30, I'm gonna practice for 10 minutes. Or it could be something where you have it stacked. It could be something that you tack on to something that you already do. That could be when you make your coffee in the morning. It could be on your drive to work. It could be while you're waiting for your, your dinner to cook. Um, whatever works for you, you gotta figure out what works um, and what's going to stick, what's gonna continue to stay consistent for you. Now that doesn't mean that falling off for a day or even a week or a couple weeks uh, means that you're never gonna make progress. Uh, life happens, right? Like you're not gonna always be consistent 100% of the time. So when you do miss a day or a couple days or a week, don't let that derail you completely. Let that um, be a motivation. Like, okay, I, I, I missed out, but overall I wanna make sure that I keep this consistent and keep this moving forward. Um, so, you know, each day is a new day and you can get started and, and keep that consistency going from there. Number two is not overdoing it. So if you are practicing three, four hours a day, you're, you're tiring your voice out, your voice is getting fatigued, that's not a good way to continue your practice. You wanna make sure that it's sustainable so that you can continue to keep going. Um, so shorter practices more frequently are always gonna be more beneficial to you than really long practices every once in a while. So um, keep them short, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes um, is better than practicing for hours on end and then not practicing for a week. Your vocal cords are delicate and they can't be pushed to the max. So make sure that you're staying in touch with your body. And if you are feeling fatigued, probably time for a little break, probably time for some, some SOVT exercises. Um, but it's really important to make sure that you're, you're caring for yourself first and foremost. And number three is to keep your practice sessions interesting. So if you're practicing, for instance, the, the rainbow passage over and over and over again, you're like, I cannot say this anymore. It might be time to switch it up. So you could read find some scripts you could read or um, read a book aloud or find some news articles, something that interests you um, to, to practice reading. And then beyond that, to, to go on some practice outings, to go out to a coffee shop or meet a friend or call a friend or, um, you know, some different ways to, to practice your voice. You can also find some games online um, or on your phone and practice as you're playing the game, read things aloud from the game or, um, you know, I know people play like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that, like th those kinds of games that have 
um, opportunities for different voices and stuff like that. So um, that character voice thing is, is really important and fun. Uh, it can be a really fun way to keep things interesting too. By switching things up, you give yourself an opportunity to make sure your your voice is feeling and sounding natural and easy too. Because if you you know are anticipating everything that you're going to say, you know the rainbow passage by heart. Um, th there isn't that level of spontaneity there anymore. Um, so by by putting yourself in, into new situations or practicing in different ways, you can can make sure that you're you're practicing that that natural feeling of your voice that you'll get you know day to day when you're you're using your voice in conversation so the perfect practice regimen is gonna look different for everybody depending on your lifestyle depending on your goals depending on how much time you can can spare for this so don't be hard on yourself if you miss a day if you miss a week if you miss a month you can always get back on track the key is to to find a balance so hopefully there you you go through less phases where you're you're kind of falling off of the practice but overdoing it or you know having your your voice practice be boring you know that can kind of keep you from doing it maybe so you have to figure out what's going to keep you motivated and really actually just fit right into your life rather than you know always trying to find time or always trying to find a huge um, chunk of time or taking so much effort um, you have to find the path of least resistance to make sure that it is something that you can continue to implement in your life so if you're having trouble staying on track or if you feel like you need some some guidance you can click the link down in the description to take a consultation with me I would love to meet you taking private lessons can be a great way to keep you honest and keep you on track when you have that lesson on your calendar you're much more likely to to stay motivated in that way um, so if that's something that you're interested in please come hang out with me i'd love to meet you but thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me um, if you have any questions thoughts write them down in the comments i'd love to hear from you i hope you have a wonderful day and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video